Hi, I'm Simon Friese and um, thanks Talia for uh, organising this interview uh, to talk about batch numbers that we're putting on our discs, which we've been putting our discs for some time. Batch numbers are numbers that are on the disc which um, indicate the month and year that the particular run has been made. Um, it's probably the best way to, to say what they are is to, to show you. So you can see there, there's a, um, a year and a month. I think it looks like March 22. Um, so that tells you when the run was, was made. We don't have batch numbers on every model, but um, we're gradually uh, you know, putting them in to all of our all of our discs, so that uh, this one here is a TUI, um, and you can see the batch number on on this TUI. So you'll find them underneath the disc. One of the issues, I guess, with moulding and what people are familiar with is that different runs of discs, um, depending on the moulding conditions, uh, moisture, humidity, it can even be as simple as colour can change the, uh, the chemical cross-linking of plastics when they're being moulded and that causes them to fly different, you know, more so with high-speed drivers um, and mid-rangers than perhaps slower discs like putters, uh, approach discs. But uh, yeah, the idea was to, uh, to be able to actually, if you, if you find a particular disc that you love, um, you could get another one that's similar by, by checking the batch number and the colour. When we make a new run of a particular disc, our plan is now to take it and throw it in a park and uh, give people a, an idea of what the new run goes like. And then obviously that will, will, will say what batch number it is um, or the month and date so that people can, uh, when they're ordering, can ask for that. 